I'm Catherine Sampson, and in the fourth in our series where we analyse what makes an outstanding piece of graphic design, we're going to look at one of the most ubiquitous and imitated logos of all time, Milton Glaser's I Love New York. New York was going through hard times in the 1970s. Crime was at an all-time high and tourism an all-time low. The New York State Department for Economic Development brought together Madison Avenue ad agency Wells Rich Green and graphic designer Milton Glaser to talk about developing a logo as part of a tourist-friendly campaign to encourage visitors to the Big Apple. Glazer's portfolio up to that point included the cover art for Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits album and the design of New York Magazine, which he founded in 1968. He changed the vocabulary of American visual culture in the 60s and 70s, bringing wit, narrative and skilled drawing to commercial art at a time when advertising was dominated by modernism. Nearly six million posters featuring Glazer's psychedelic Bob Dylan design made their way into homes across the world. At the meeting with the ad agency, Glazer pulled a crumpled piece of paper out of his pocket, a doodle he'd done during a recent cab ride. The concept hit a nerve with Wells' rich green, so Glazer developed it further, stacking the characters and deciding on the typeface, American typewriter. Trying to explain his choice of typeface, Glazer said, I'm not sure why I chose the variation of American typewriter, except for its informality and literary reference and the fact that it was a rigid counterpoint to the voluptuous heart that made it seem appropriate. And that is often the way. It's part of cognitive decision based on a typeface's physical qualities and cultural associations, but just as important is its ability to feel just right. Over the decades, his logo has become a beloved image for New Yorkers. And in the wake of the attacks of September the 11th, 2001, Glazer designed an updated version. In the weeks following the attacks, Glazer's students from the School of Visual Arts hand distributed copies of the poster throughout the city. Plastered on storefronts and in doorways, the message expressed New Yorkers' deep feeling about the city. Glazer did the work entirely pro bono in the name of helping the city rise again, twice. That's what it should be, he said in an interview. You want to do things like that, where you can feel you can actually change things. Looking back on its longevity, he expressed some surprise. No one could have had any idea how significant the logo would become. Certainly not me, he says. It is amazing to me that it has not vanished, that it is still impactful, that people still respond to it, and it still seems to do its basic job. Glazer continued to work into his 80s, teaching and serving on the board at the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan, writing books and creating the poster for the final season of the television series Mad Men in 2014. He died on his 91st birthday in 2020.